Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Autotrap Reviewers. In this video, I am going to go over my favorite Mac apps of 2021, and they will probably continue being my favorites going into 2022. So if you just got a new Mac or you're just interested in finding some new programs, this is the video for you. So I just recently bought this maxed out, you know, brand new 2021 16 inch MacBook Pro. And I thought, you know what? Instead of transferring everything from my old Mac, I'm gonna set this up as a brand new computer and only put on exactly what I need and what I want. And that's what I did. So this has the least clutter on any Mac I've ever owned, but everything has a purpose and everything works great. So let's start with the menu bar because I get tons of questions about this. First off, um, this battery and everything where it shows how much time's remaining and percentage, this is not default. This is all this one and you know some of these right here are part of iStat menus. If you haven't heard of it, I highly recommend you check it out. I think it's like 15 bucks or something. It's pretty cheap. Um, it'll tell you your battery cycles, the condition, manufacturer date, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and a side note, you can also get coconut battery. Oh, look at that, they have an update. Yeah, you guys can get coconut battery here if you want. Uh, that one gives you a little more in-depth details on your battery health. Uh, you can also do it for your iPhone, but I'm gonna go ahead and install that update and I'll be right back. That was quick. Uh, it looks like it just updated some of this a little bit, but yeah, anyways, coconut battery is cool. But back up to the top here, iStat menus. This is part of iStat menus. Uh, so is this. So I can see, you know, my memory usage, my processor usage, and my storage, everything like that. Looks like it's all working great. So no issues there. So that's the first one, iStat menus. Number two is amphetamine. Now this is on the Mac App Store. iStat menus is not. I'll link it down below. Amphetamine, I'll also link down below. Basically, when this cup is off like this, my Mac will eventually sleep. But if I click it like this, if you guys remember the old caffeine app, basically my Mac will not sleep now. And that's how I like it. So I keep this on pretty much 24 seven. I like my Mac to not sleep. Next up, we have Little Snitch. Now this is probably one of the most important apps to me on my Mac. Uh, what this does is it allows me to limit programs access to the internet. And one of my specialties is network security. And so this is very important to me. Um, so I monitor every single connection my MacBook makes and I deny programs access that I don't think needs access. Just to give you an example, one of my programs here is called Disk Map. It does not need access to the internet. It gets updates through the app store and that's it. So I have blocked all access to the internet for that. That app does not need it. So that's just an example, but it goes much deeper than that. I don't use my MacBook without that. All right, next up is Proton VPN. I use this all the time and it is my VPN of choice for many reasons, um, the security and also just the ease of use. Also, I did some testing with iVPN as well as Mulvad and this one just seemed to be faster. So don't know, I was not expecting that. So I kept my subscription here with Proton VPN. Uh, but it is just a full featured client and it works fantastically. So many servers to choose from if you pay just a little bit, like I pay like 160 bucks every two years or something, super cheap and keeps me protected. So I highly recommend a VPN if you don't already have one, but you do need to know your threat model uh, before you delve into that too much because you need to know what you're trying to protect because different VPNs do things a little differently. Um, this is one that I am pretty confident does not sell my data. So just be advised of other VPNs. Uh, they might be a, kind of sketchy. So just do your research. All right, next up, this is super important for everyone. Every single person needs to have a password manager. I'm looking at you. Yes, you, the person watching this video, you probably use reuse the same password for multiple sites. That's a horrible practice. Check out 1Password. Uh, if I click it here, I can uh, see, obviously I don't have a website open right now. But if I did, it would show me suggestions. This integrates into every browser. It just works so well. Uh, I have hundreds and hundreds, almost a thousand passwords in my one password. I keep everything in there. Every password's random. So brute force hacking, uh, pretty much not something I have to worry about. But anyways, get that, or at least try out the trial. Or if you don't wanna pay, get Bitwarden. Uh, that one works too. But one password, Bitwarden, or KeePass, those are all good. My personal preference, one password. All right, so we've gone through all these at the top. These are obviously used every day. As a side note, I do recommend you use Time Machine on your Mac, but that just comes with every Mac. All right, let's talk about web browsers. So personally, I use a couple different ones. I have made sure not to put Google Chrome on this Mac at all yet. I hope I never have to, I really don't want to. I use Safari for iTouch app reviewer stuff like Twitter and stuff like that. And I use Brave for YouTube stuff. So as an example here, uh, I've got Brave pulled up. This is my browser of choice. Uh, I did extensive research. I do have Firefox on here as well. Um, 
I go between Firefox and Brave quite often, uh, but on these new MacBook Pros, I found that Brave gives me the best experience. Uh, I know it's based on Chromium, so it's not, you know, the most, I don't know what the word is, but whatever, it's it's Brave. I've of course, loaded it up with um, some add-ons that I personally find useful. Uh, a lot of them are privacy related. So I've got uBlock Origin, I've got Decentralize, Cookie Auto Delete, Clear URLs, Behind the Overlay, which most people probably don't need, YouTube Enhancer, which I use. It automatically makes all my YouTube videos that I watch in two times speed, so I don't have to do it, and the highest resolution. So uh, I use that for that and it's very helpful. 1Password, obviously, and Google Translate because I've been on some websites that I need to translate. Brave for me has been awesome on the M1 Mac. No complaints here. Uh, it's very fast. I can have a million tabs open, million windows open, and never really have any issues. So check out Safari. Obviously, it comes installed, but just try it out. YouTube sucks on Safari. And also check out Firefox. But I think for the best YouTube experience, you're going to want Brave. Stay away from Google Chrome if you can. Firefox is also a good alternative. It's just it's lagging behind a little bit uh, with some of the technologies. Anyways, Brave is the next one on the list. Next up, I wanna show you guys Pixelmator Pro. If you guys do any type of design work, like I do thumbnails and all kinds of photo edits and stuff, a lot of it goes through Pixelmator Pro. Uh, it is fantastic. I think it's usually 40 bucks, but I always buy it when it's on sale. So I wait for a sale and it was 20 bucks. So I got it for 20, I think it's worth 20. And I guess I can just gloss over some of the apps on here. I use Microsoft Remote Desktop just for uh, a Raspberry Pi that I connect to at my house, Adblock Pro for Safari blocking, HyperDoc for uh, doc type stuff. It's not very supported anymore, so I don't recommend it necessarily. Uh, Little Snitch, I already went over these. Team Viewer, I'm sure you guys know about that. Spotify, Sensei, which is pretty cool. If you wanna look into something that can show you stuff about your Mac. So I can't show too much here. I was trying to show my you know serial number and stuff, but uh, it can do a lot of the stuff that iStat menus can do, but it can do so much more. Like I can find apps and stuff to delete, um, it can tell me about my battery so I can see right here the temperature everything looks good the fans uh, Obviously are off. They're almost always off. Anyway, sensei is a cool one Disk map. I use that all the time to delete stuff downy is cool If you want to download videos from pretty much anywhere, you just paste the URL and it downloads it Permute cool if you need to change stuff jump shares like Dropbox Bitwarden is a free version basically of one password It's open source uh, so if you don't want to pay for one password, you can get Bitwarden. Final Cut Pro, that's how all these videos are edited. Compressor, Motion, these all come with it. Garmin Express for, my, for one of my watches. Parallels is awesome if you need to emulate anything. So Windows, Linux, anything. Parallels has you covered. Coconut Battery, I already went over that. Telegram, obviously. Firefox Nightly is just the beta version. That's just like the developer version, like Canary here of Firefox, Nestbot. Now here's one that I need to talk about, Al Dente. So if I click on it here, it's gonna pop up under the stupid notch. Uh, I don't know why it does that, but um, it needs to like make room over here. The developer needs to fix that, I think. What this does, this is for those of you who are battery nuts. So if you are crazy about extending your Mac's battery, you're gonna want this. These new MacBook Pros have amazing battery life. I personally keep my MacBook plugged in all the time. I bought an extra set of MagSafe chargers, one for my office, and another one for a different part of the house where I have another office setup. So I have two sets and I almost always keep my MacBook Pro plugged in. That's terrible for your battery to keep it always at 100%. So Al Dente allows me to choose how I want my battery set up. So if I go in here, I paid, I think 25 bucks for this, which seems a little high. I think it should be about 10, but whatever. Uh, I have mine set right here to go between 45 and 55%. So when it hits like 55%, it'll just kind of sit there and maybe it'll go down to 45% and then it'll charge back up uh, throughout the day. It will not charge if the temperature is above 35 Celsius, which pretty much never happens. So yeah, I can keep my Mac plugged in all day and it will never fully charge unless I ask it to. This program is pretty cool. I don't know the effectiveness, but I can tell you my battery cycles have not gone up much. So I know that's not everything, but it's something. So if I close it and I just go to Al Dente again, I can top up. If I need to quickly go somewhere, I can fully charge. I can change this to be whatever I want. I can discharge it by clicking that top up. Obviously I can't do it right now because I'm not plugged in, but yeah. Super cool program if you are worried about your battery. Notchmeister, this is kind of just a, uh, I don't know, just a novelty to show you guys. I don't know if you can get the full effect while I'm screen sharing, but um, you can mess with your notch, I guess. I forget which one I liked. I think it was Glow. Glow was probably my favorite. 
Gus Div, that one's kind of for the holidays, for Christmas, and the Nano Radar, that one's kind of stupid. I don't like it. Glow, that's the one I like. But really stupid, pointless app, but it looks kind of cool. It's fun to play with for like two seconds. Also, it's free. So Anchor Toolbox and Eufy Security, I don't really mess with those. Flighty, I've done a video on this for the iPhone, so go check that one out. So yeah, I have gone through pretty much every app on my Mac, including the ones that I use every single day. I don't think I'm missing any. I'm just running through right now. Spotify, Discord, Brave. I think that's about it. I use the default calendar app a lot more now. Once you really nail that down, it's very useful. Uh, I never really used it. I use reminders all the time on my phone. It's basically how I plan my life. So very important. I get a lot of stuff done with that. But yeah, so that's my Mac. Uh, those are the best apps that I have found. It keeps me productive. Everything goes very well on this thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found an app that you didn't know about, which I'm sure you did, drop a comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite. That's all I got. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.